<clears throat> oh, I lost it. Uh... Okay. You. Who are you? Why do you exist? And what are you to be? You. Who are you? Well, you're one in a million. But once you factor in the seven billion people on this planet, it seems impossible to be significant. Though we live in the age of information, where communication is an essential aspect of this generation, constant, constant separation, separation still, still puts, puts you in desolation. desolation. And you force yourself daily to go into isolation. And you're afraid of the sea of expectation imposed on by others. The new dream, absolute perfection, and you try to fulfill your standards in an attempt to avoid rejection. If only it didn't send you into a ray of misdirection in you, and you got lost. You end up all alone with a huge heavy burden you would rather leave them shown. The insurmountable illusion has been misled. And inside you are broken, lifeless, and numb, and dead. The lies the world have told you have become reality. It's become so recurrent. It's become normality. They tell you you're no one. There's no reason to go on. try to prove them wrong, but in the end, you're too far gone. It's become a fact that all your hope is lost. And you simply can't find how to repay the cost. The cost of your past, all the built up previous guilt. As you grow up and will to feel you'll never be rebuilt. Either wallow over your remorse or countless sins of the past. You simply can't find freedom. Or at least freedom that would last. You don't know where you're at. You become a lost soul. We lost all control. control. There's no way you'll be able. But you. You. You don't have to live like this. Or from this point on, a life of sin you may dismiss. But it's by God's grace that you have been saved. Jesus, Son of God, has death and sin enslaved. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son. So that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but join the one. For God did not send His Son to the world to condemn. For God to rescue, save, and liberate the whole world through Him. The wages of sin is death, and we are all born of this fault. The gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, we exalt. For He will never leave you, but never will He forsake you. And if you have faith in Him, He will ensure you will go through. He has immense power to calm the stormy seas. You also have the power to put your anxious heart at ease. For you're not just one in a million, but a reflection of him. The air of God is power over you. In him you are free, for he has forever overcome. The new creation has come, the old has now been gone. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. And when you believe in him, a new life in you begins. For he's the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. And he can be the cornerstone on which you can depend. If God is for us, who can ever be against us? We are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus who loved us. Now, who are you? Why are you here? What are you to be? From um, you are not of the world. Or from it you have been free. Why are you here? To be part of God's family. You are a living testimony of God's great glory. In For the, the world, world you were lost. For anything you were found, you will now have a story. And it shall now resound. Now, what are you to be? Well, as part of God's dynasty. Christ now lives in you. We hid the children of society. Why is this thing so long? Uh, where's my recording at?